Welcome to Paint and Sip Gold Coast. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can paint your own sunset painting at home. So you will need a plastic plate with white paint, cerulean blue. Um, you will need two blobs of magenta or any bright color red. I think magenta is pretty though. You will need lemon yellow and just a bit of black paint. Using your widest or largest brush, take a scoop of the cerulean blue and mix it into one of your blobs of magenta. So it's a little bit of blue paint into a lot of magenta and this is going to create a really pretty dark purple color. So once your dark purple has been created, you're going to take a scoop of that purple and move it to an empty space on your palette. And then you're going to take a scoop of white paint and mix it into that purple that you've just put aside. So we're making a lighter purple. Then make sure to wash your brush after the step and dry it off on a paper towel. So the next color we need to create is a uh, orange color. So you're going to take a scoop of yellow aside, take a scoop of your magenta and mix it into the yellow and it should create an orange. So I would start off with only a little, little bit of magenta and see how that looks. And you can always add more if you need to have a brighter color. We are first going to paint the background or the sunset. So you will need to use your largest brush and I'm holding it on the thickest edge to get, a, um, to get more coverage on the canvas. And I'm going to work my way from the top to the bottom of the canvas and my brush strokes are going to have an arched shape the whole time, almost like the letter U. Um, so we're not painting in straight lines at all because we want to create that um, like pattern in the clouds. So what I'm doing is I'm laying, starting from the top, I'm laying down my different colors as I go. There's no real order to this. I just have fun as I do it. And each time when I add a new color, I make sure to overlap that new color with the previous color that's already on the canvas. This way, when you overlap and the two colors are still wet, they actually begin to blend together. So really importantly, if you want your colors to blend seamlessly into each other, you need to make sure that um, bo like both colors are still wet because if it's dry, it won't blend at all. So if it is dry, just add a bit of water to your brush or even just add some more paint. The beauty of acrylic painting is that you can keep adding more and more layers until you're happy with it. So here I'm adding a bit of white paint and it won't actually look white because when it starts to blend with the colors around it, it will just make a lighter version of that color that's next to it. So this just adds some lightness into your painting. So now that I have my purples and pinks, I will start adding in some oranges and yellows and just continue with this process. Um, what's great is that the purples, pinks, oranges and yellows work really well together. These colors complement each other. So it's going to look beautiful no matter what order you do it in.
You're now going to need a small round brush 
Um, we're going to paint the stars next, so just dip the tip of your brush in white paint and very lightly you're going to apply little dots around your canvas um, and this is going to look like stars. Still using your little brush, take a little bit of black paint and mix it into your remaining dark purple. This is just going to create um, an even darker purple than the one we used previously. So we're going to paint the tree next. Um, so using your little brush and this dark purple paint, you're going to start by painting the left hand side of your tree. So starting from a point and making a curve all the way to the bottom. And from here you can start building the rest of your tree. So I'm just painting the right hand side of the tree trunk next. And then you'll start to add the branches in. So it's really up to you how you would like your tree to look. It does not have to look exactly like mine. Just have fun with it. So start with the main branches, the, like the thicker ones. And then you can use the tip of your brush to add some smaller branches in there. And your tree may look a bit strange without the leaves in, but seriously, once you add the leaves, it, it fixes the whole thing because it starts to cover all the branches.
I'm now switching to a medium sized round brush and you can still use your little one you just won't cover as much canvas as I am with a larger brush and the technique is to hold it you to hold your brush straight on and literally just dab at the canvas and it's going to start creating um, like a leafy effect and you're just going to cover all your branches with this and you're going to have your tree We now need to paint the birds, so I've switched to my little brush again and using the tip of my brush only, so we're not pressing down hard, we are just going to create little V shapes, um, so normal Vs and then like inverted or upside down Vs and this is going to look like birds flying. So you can add as little or as many birds as you want. Um, I wanted to start off um, with a lot of birds close to the tree and as we make our way up to have less and less and this will make it look like the birds are actually flying in order like out of the tree but it's totally up to you. And that's the end of the painting and if you are feeling really creative you can add any other personal touches like more trees or mountains or whatever you like um, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram it's at paint and sip Gold Coast and if you did paint this painting we would love to see it so please tag us and um, and we can share it and thank you goodbye <laughs>